Hello everyone, I am Dr. Naveen Kumar LV. I am a senior consultant in orthopedics and sports injuries at Manipal Hospital Sarjapur Road. Uh, hallux valgus deformity. Uh, I am sure a lot of you have heard this word, especially women commonly get this. So quite a few of, the, of you would have heard this word hallux valgus. What is it exactly? It is about the heel, about the front foot where your big toe sort of moves outwards and starts climbing onto the second toe. So a lot of you recognize that as a bunion, which is the kind of thickness which happens on the base of the big toe. And that is a prominence which you feel like as if it's a pain or it looks unsightly. And because the toes sort of crowd out, that is something which people don't like the look of it. But having said that, a lot of people with this kind of hallux valgus do manage it without needing anything big uh, because it's not painful in majority of people. So if it is just about how it looks, you may wish to just leave it alone. But at the same time, if it is causing pain at the base of the big toe, like bunion pain, or if the the big toe is climbing onto the second toe and causing calluses. Calluses means the thickening of the skins which is causing pain. Or if there are ulcers forming between because they are uh, close to each other, they are causing some amount of moisture and ulcers in that area. Under those circumstances, it definitely needs to be treated. Hallux valgus. This is a condition which affects the big toe. We see that the joint between the uh, to big uh, bones of the big toe that starts moving out of place so we often see a bunion on the inner side of the big toe and we often see that the big toe starts drifting outwards and in some instances it may climb on to the other toe as well so that is a condition which can cause deformity it can also cause pain or even calluses because of the pressure points and it can even cause ulcerations as well. So these are the conditions which we see as a result of hallux valgus. So in people in whom it is causing mild amount of bother, it's not causing any huge amount of problem but just an occasional pain, simple two things can help. One is wearing footwear which has got a wider box so that you don't crowd out your toes together. That is one thing which you have to really think about. Second thing is you can wear a toe separator where your big toe is sort of brought back to the place. But just by doing that, I am not saying that you can cure your hallux valgus, but you can at least reduce the pain and you can to an extent prevent that from progressing. So for those reasons, you can try these simple remedies. In people in whom it is causing a lot of bother, pain, like I mentioned, corns or ulcers and all those things, then definitely it needs treatment. Uh, so when we talk about treatment, these are the things where we have to literally uh, do the realignment surgery for the bones itself. So these kind of surgeries are something which are really very successful surgery but has to be done in the right way for the right person. And when we do these kind of surgeries, basically we do what we call as osteotomy. We basically cut the bone in certain angles and then realign the bones. So that's the kind of surgery we are talking about. So post surgery, you will be in a supported boot, supportive boot for up to six weeks. But you will be allowed to walk after two weeks to put full weight on that leg and start doing the activities. Uh, at least the basic activities will be started pretty soon. But yes, the bones have to heal again, so it takes time. This is a procedure where you can expect to go back and do all the normal things by around three to four months. But yes, this is a successful surgery if done for the right indications for the right person. Hope this helps.